basic physical knowledge for windsurf instructors. Physical principles as part of a windsurfing lesson? We believe that professional working windsurf instructors should be able to not only demonstrate the manoeuvres properly, but also to have a deeper understanding on how they work. In this tutorial, we would like to highlight some of the typical situations in a beginner course during which a basic physical understanding may prove useful. Relative wind and angle of attack. The wind we feel in our sail while windsurfing is in fact a mixture out of two different winds. The atmospheric wind, created by differences in air pressure in our atmosphere, and the headwind, created by our own speed of movement. The mixture of these two winds is called relative wind. It is important to understand that the strength and direction of the relative wind is not only influenced by changes in the atmospheric wind, but also through changes of your own speed and the direction you are heading. Let's have a look on what is happening to the relative wind the moment a gust hits our sail. The strength of the atmospheric wind is changing, and with it is changing the direction of the relative wind further aft. Once the windsurfer gains speed, the strength of the headwind is increasing, and the direction of the relative wind is changing further towards the bow. Last but not least, also the course to the wind you are sailing has an influence on the strength of the relative wind. On a downwind course, atmospheric wind and headwind are blowing almost directly against another and therefore reduce the strength of the relative wind a lot. On an upwind course instead, atmospheric wind and headwind are more or less blowing in the same direction and therefore enforcing the strength of the relative wind. For at least two reasons, it is important for windsurfers to develop an understanding for the relative wind. First, because the perfect angle of attack is depending on the direction of the relative wind and therefore has to be readjusted permanently. Second, the difference in wind strength depending on the course you sail is especially for beginners an important factor when it comes to sailing back against the wind. Steering with the sail. In order to understand why our windsurf board is turning towards the wind once we point the clue of the sail down to the water, we first have to understand why it is not turning if we keep our boom horizontal. All the forces generated in the sail are accumulated in the so-called centre of pressure. The centre of pressure describes the deepest point of the sail's profile. The point of lateral resistance can be understood as the counterpart of the pressure point in the sail. The lateral point of resistance describes the area of the board on which the highest resistance against drifting is created. On a beginner board, this area is usually on the dagger board. The board will sail in a straight line if the pressure point in the sail and the point of lateral resistance in the board are placed horizontally above each other. If we now start moving the pressure point of the sail further forward, bringing it in front of the point of lateral resistance, your board will start bearing away. If we let the clue of the sail point downward, it moves behind the point of lateral resistance and our board loves up. Enjoy teaching your VDWS instructor team.